thought it would be interesting and profitable to have a studio in Ireland. Dofroil Roger Corman is in the studio show Shan's doing Tahi Oil Sukno. Hollywood landed in my back door, you know. And I, I took an I took the opportunity and, and I went with it. And he was very clear, he had said to them, look, I make horror movies, I make sci-fi, I make kind of, you know, these sort of like low-budget uh, stuff in, in Venice, and I'm going to do that in Ireland. The scale to on the, oh, Martians, I can see that it's also a bar, it's meaning, and the character, and the hound, a bit of Martin James, you know, Johnny Cole Wyke, I guess, Martian, hey, Connemara. Roger Corman, Kushar uh, Nolskoil in Stanford, in Shakem Severla, and the doctor in Rainer, nor a hostnik Shemakan son a day in the Skanon, in there in the Gaegadi toast in the Shaskadi. In the Kate Skanon, in she a hiring order, more when it more lara, no lagging a the scale to Edgar Allan Poe, the House of Usher, and the scale to Nahe. Where is she? You buried your own sister alive. I did. But she's dead now. I had always been aware of Roger Corman. I started acting in the early 80s, and Roger Corman was synonymous with low-budget B-movies. <laughs> oh, my God! Don't stop now! Vulture, welcome to Hollywood. You have arrived. So Belair on Tools could have seen again a Gorsi Scananiota Margono. Beware the creature from the haunted sea. If you take Roger Corman out of the international industry, 25% of Hollywood wouldn't exist. You know, most of the people you love in this business somehow all came through Roger's school. He started so many people, gave it their, their first shot when, I mean, I'm from Scorsese to Coppola to, to Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, Sylvester Stallone. I mean, just guys who became huge. Um, nobody else would hire them. Rogers saw their talent. The Young Racers, starring Mark Damon. He drove for revenge. The Young Racers, which I shot in 1963, we essentially followed the Grand Prix races wherever they were racing, we went to shoot. And the last race of the year was the British Grand Prix in Liverpool. And I had built, with the aid of my ace assistant, Francis Coppola, all our equipment into a Volkswagen microbus. So we essentially had a traveling studio. And the labor laws, I knew, were very strict in England, but the labor laws were easier in Ireland. So I said, what you do is you just put the bus on the ferry from Liverpool to Dublin and shoot Dementia 13, which was Francis's first picture in Dublin. I swear by the shade of Finn McCool, Master Billy, I'm not poaching your legal game. No, tis only that no good rabbit stealing fox what brings me here. Ah! 
his stories were always solid. You know, Roger knew how to tell a story, still knows how to tell a story. And um, how much money you want to throw at that, that's up to you. You know, and it all depends on how much you want to make. And that's where Roger was really smart. I'm not going to throw another dime at it because I'm not going to make another dime. Again, that forces creativity. If you have all the money in the world and all the choices, it's like, she rides the bike. I don't know, let me see 50 bikes. It's, it takes time. Here's, well, okay, she, who's got a bike? I and mean, this is Roger's thing. It's like, who's got a bike? Uh, okay, I do. Great, use it. Von Richthofen and Brown was a World War I flying picture, and they had shot in Ireland a picture, I think, oh, it was called the Blue Max, and they had built all these World War airplanes. The planes were there, so I thought, I'll shoot in Ireland. I used the planes. Your planes are famous, Herr Parker. They deserve to be. This is the new Pegasus. I designed it to be as beautiful and precise as a bird of prey. remember we were shooting at this private airport outside of Dublin and I would drive to the airport each morning and I remember there was a divide in the road and it was left to the airport and right to Galway and every morning I thought I just want to go to Galway. Is on show Aaron Dullock at Asha Barthe egg Roger Corman a studio new a hoyal ma Irene Gamalish and Dolph Victor at Har Yanavega Sakanthor for Lahir. I can name Shinnevig Lore at Tarlow and Alia, um, if you want an accolation on, on studio like Carmen, via on um, Galway Film Centre on, via on GMIT, um, an RTC, I can name Shinnevig Lore, Shaw Corsi, um, a telefish, August Gunnany of the Corsi Inthoch, um, I can name Kena, via um, on Film Flat on. So, Vigil Lore at Tarlow, I can name, via Tichi Carr, or Hunt Hustle, and you rush at Hussey, I can name Shin, but via the plan of the Fall Rayla Hashin, via Nudros, I give you a much Dini on, and Upper Shaw Yen of August, and Roll Ni Shaw, a whole August the war shin dagushi dreams corsi telefish. Rinchi the corsi on skmochdini and shin ray hun a postani tijikara or hoigal. Ahmara horla dibinadini shin a carmen homa. Scene 29, big yank. Take one. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling. Give us your carmen a derig studio of anu. Senor on a skmoch shenan says first dull team player corsi carnacus marshin de. The mech shell on henering mar hampla, feach maraga. Nehorpa, Oskolado, or Lena Belk, the Machelon and Rash the Stoid. August Arnoy and some V. V. Rufus Nahernigano, Madeira Dina of Alastach, V. and Tunes and of the Dulce Rai, Kupisa Oira in Ering. A force near a frack, Haran Tunnan, in Ehernatira. Uh, my original plan was to build a studio somewhere around Dublin where I'd shot before. The Ministry of Industry or something like that offered me a certain grant to help me build a studio. And Michael D. Higgins, the Minister of Arts, offered me more money, but I had to build it in the west of Ireland because they were trying to develop industry in and around uh, Galway. So I, shot, I built the studio and shot my pictures in Galway, and I thought, in America, there's no way the Ministry of Arts could offer more money than the Ministry of Industry. <laughs> The thing is that the monarch of the VRNC is a year The monarch of the VRNC is a year old. The monarch of the VRNC is a year old. And the monarch of the VRNC is a year old. The monarch of the VRNC is a year old. The monarch of the VRNC is a year old. The monarch of the VRNC is a year old. The monarch of the VRNC is a year old. The monarch of the VRNC is uh, Bonnie Hare made Dini a very first day of this If I went just a little bit north of Galway into Connemara and the Gale Talk, the subsidy or grant would increase because they were trying to build industry in the Gale Talk, and they said they could give me this one plot of land and. Uh, I took that plot of land and built a studio. I was in the middle of the million euro. I was in the middle of the year. 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 
Um, Başka da lasma da görürsün. O son ki onu da öyle. Ma kuyd dan konrasyon ve konil majelleşen gelge. Vi er anama kolu da vehen gelge. Så sinen kuşkar konkarden iş çoran da vi on. Ages vi er dini le gelge, no dini on gelt at astu. Så anspeş an şal, mar ekim tu er egne dini ta gavur an şal. Like ta dini as asın gelt at astu tali as bejel as mafelin. Ages ta işte folum at ham gelir at on. On the major road, it's all hard and shit. Like you know, I'm just doing a scan and I can see, you know, it's on road. I really like. Near me here's more on a bit of a scan and a hard bit. We may play like ESC for a few weeks. We may make a little tour of London for a trip. We may deal hot dogs and kebabs and a trip for a few weeks. No, hardly. And I guess whole of my girl, Roger Corman attack. I guess from a start, here to talk about the way grip. Agus vi ser mamma och agus vi vi de är chansa med henne vi måste göra henne. Först klär jag hon i heroik. Eru är man mycket mer namn tagt och låter gyn hon agla vi henne så där nu är rimme skis hon är agla vi henne. Agus står till dem ja till sin gamma är mot att säga hon tar så en lön. Så det menar han om fan ja. Ok. Ni är klud och lyd om kär du vill skula om och just hasi vem av vad on. I sent my ace assistant Marianne Fisher over there on a year's contract to sort of supervise everything, and then I would fly over three, four, maybe five times a year to check on individual things and pretty much at the start of key pictures. And the interview consisted of, you do not want to work for us. Wages were bad, the, you know, the amount that had to be done. She was going, you know, in six weeks' time, we're going to be shooting a movie. We've got no, no people, we've no equipment, we need trucks, a lot. And you're going, yeah, yeah, no, no, it can be done, it can be done. We shan monarchanon eganam, shan for ignavivi, and shasavin shin, agus nero, nero ashagamadi, fuam, nudi, sail shin, the way with marshin, ach, shin do so as medicum thus, agus we port captains la hina hafigi, we shan sacra, we shay four, nero if you want, nidolum, more and galeras on, by in kate post la hagalordini, so nero in tahia gobernanots ella, so nero keshnim would say, rinim would say, ganin, ganin zakrochti. I started on the 14th of August 1995. I thought at that stage we might make start making one picture before the end of the year. But in actual fact, we start shooting a picture in September. And that was uh, Blood Fist with Don the Dragon Wilson. You know where I can find the Major? No, we can't go there. I, I don't trust him. Do you have any other suggestions? So where are we going? Ireland. Ireland? Near a visit again, it could be a tarlu on Toga Gun Lawhern and Studio Moor. So we did a fistrock carcalor. We fistrock there in a Cadavi Tarlus to Tach Morshin. I got to be kind town. Can't you be kind town if we could have just gone on? Shan's crush is ever so fresh and more. We would hear us in the meal and free and porn. I got to let it. So, one that will all us are fall. Been to explain when all this mess and not mean no one drop road. So chance a fat three extra grand in the explain of care to our children. Kind of like the mob. Nobody can ever quit unless they're dead. I'm not coming back, Michael. Ever. Everybody clear off now. Camera right side clear, please. <clears throat> Roll sound, fire the hole. Peace. Roger Corman <laughs> specializes in low budget rapid fire films. To the delight of those trying to develop Ireland as a major movie-making location, he's now decided to set up shop in the heart of Connemara. 
My intention for the studio was very simple. I thought I could make five or six pictures a year myself and rent the studio out to other producers. The first two movies were done out of two 40-foot containers, and literally that was the production office. The equipment was being ordered from various places around the world. On the Friday before the Monday that we were shooting, the cameras and the lights arrived. We got the trucks on the Friday as well. We were literally shooting on the first day and fixing up the trucks with shelving to put the equipment into. In that, the first movie, 66 of a crew, and I'd say six or seven people had worked on a movie before. Shin Cade's gone on a Dibrick Misha Air, not trained for action. Like Shin Cade's gone on with a Gotha now, because on rail to Vigesh, not Don the Dragon. So he called me up and he said, look, why don't you just redo Die Trying, which I believe is Blood Fist 4. So he said, you guys just work the script from Die Trying from America to uh, Ireland. We showed up with the exact same script. Stop! Now you just cool it, Boyle. You can't let him leave. He's going after my son. What? Who is he? He's Richard Cowan. 5630 South Rockingham Drive, Los Angeles, California. A yank? I hate yanks. I once took my wife there on a holiday. Worst time of my life. Is is going on Archer Dinamaha, Augustina Dunna. August we down the dragon, Martin Dinama. August we in the Diniela, Martin Dina Dunna. August I'm a happy good binach here, Russia. A chulus going on around the dragon. Why blood fist to him? Blood fist och du do. On Hades shot and Dara shot of Yagan is a uh, thread more of Yagan air shop street. So stop got with the shop street or turn on like Saturn. Shas got the team to brand where Don the Dragon and Denov and high kicks should glare. La far, massing or bounce away account the pub so hard. Because we should just surreal. Because like, Queen of Malosh in a row, right? Because she should differ. But she just see move. <laughs> 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 At the very beginning, it was um, explained to me that he wants to open up a studio there, and he was going, and I was going to be the first one because I was going to, you know, we're going to help train the people. And um, uh, the director was um, uh, Rick Jacobson, a good friend of mine, and he brought his editor, who was a friend of his, so we could be cutting things while we were there. And uh, we were like going, the, the best group he had, I believe, that would help to start training the locals. You, know, you fight like a wee girl, like you're always dead. I'm going to cut you to pieces. <laughs> Now you remember who I am, Liam? Goliath! I'm your nightmare, little Liam. I kicked your sick arse once, and now I'm gonna do it again. I cut up your orange little soccer ball, and now it's your turn, my friend. And we got to Galway, and then we drove for half hour to 40 minutes to get to this concrete block uh, thing. It wasn't a studio at all. It was a vacant lot with a concrete block building and several rooms, one for wardrobe, one for this and that. And the more I started talking to people, I said, geez, you know, you're pretty good with the wardrobe. So how long have you been doing this? And he said, oh, I know I was props on the last picture, you know, and that was my first picture. And then I realized, I was literally teaching a bunch of students. North of two shots when she was feckin' to script at Thorland, feckin' to you know like Nehi or Father Tachli Chiele, Eled Zara, Sal Shirt, and the hash story. Just on Majin Le Fallum, she just got hinted. So come my rug or train all untach of yon the Dini Oga Kusla Mahain or the Tosu Mach or engaged him or an Ashtar show. On here Harlish she no Rowniv Wadre Vre the hash story. August and Chin Tamalish and crew, August and Prief crew, Sheshin on Sturi Hood, August Tirona, Vishansig Shin on Far Solish and Far Camera Ranu, August Vishadak of Shin, Peter Tsun, who Kahar Hortslob, my crew. Hollish and Egg Nihad, Peter Tsin, who shed a scullum. Treshin, um, V. Crew Ernoch, Bugnach and Umlon, Ed Hole, a scullum a genu. I slave away for some intergalactic corporation for 20 years, inching along. Bah! Bah! Kissing ass! When you can have it all in about 15 minutes. 
Yeah, I got the sense that people were, were learning and figuring out, but I think by the time I got there, it was a pretty well-oiled machine. You know, I mean, it, it wasn't like, I mean, on big movies where they don't know what the fuck they're doing, and, you know, you get there and there's $100 million being spent, and nobody's kind of talking to each other. In a sense, in that way, everybody knows what the script is and knows the story and knows who's doing what and knows who to yell at when shit doesn't happen. Whereas in a bigger movie, sometimes it's just, you know, it takes an hour to figure out, like, you know, who's going to move the cable. Not me, not him. Makeup, I'm catering. Nope, nope. And you sit there for a fucking hour where the cable lays on the ground. You know, that wasn't the way Roger's movies worked. Although I don't think he moved a cable. <laughs> Somebody likes to watch, likes to watch. of Roger, he used a lot of the same people, which actually is really smart because then a crew will develop uh, a rhythm and they'll be able to work more efficiently. When I sat down in the makeup chair the first day, this wonderful uh, makeup artist, and she very enthusiastically said to me um, that she had been a housewife before she got an assistant to an assistant to assistant job as in the last film, Makeup Artist. And now she was the head makeup artist and she didn't have a lick of makeup on her, not a lick. And she even said to me, I don't even wear makeup myself. And I was like, oh. <laughs> this was by far like a film school. It was like the Roger Corman School of Film because I mean, we were just being taught as like literally, you know, Bam, 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 from movie to movie to movie. It was like full on gachla, Erin said, and it on, on, I think, on Simulagos, on Buntas Julga, and then I thought over scenario all new. We have always promoted from within. Uh, there are stories that go on and on of people who uh, started in a lowly position and built up. We were a bugger like a hand topi, so we do not do the nords like a hand topi. So how some like a Mark Kuntor. Bjog, Nakhar Ro Havochtach, Ach Fuin Zarevi Me Marn, second assistant director. 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 Ach they called me in in the middle of the fifth film and they said, Jeremiah, um, this script has arrived from L.A. and we've been around the house in L.A. We cannot find any directors who want to do it because the script is so bad. And this is going to be the lowest budget film that we ever did. This is going to be even cheaper and lower and nastier than all the other films. But if you want to direct it, it's yours to direct. That was Criminal Affairs. An innocent man. All right, you get your fuck. Let's go. Is thrown into a deadly world of deception. I said, let's go. Sit down. Oh my God, please don't shoot. What's he doing? I think he's crying. Take off the dress. It's better. Criminal Affairs. My first day as a director was light enough. My second day was a night shoot and a sex scene. So these two are at it, and the bad guy, Louis Mandalore, comes along, blows his head off. This girl is just absolutely covered in blood. And Louis Mandalore yanks the dead guy out of the car, throws him on the ground, grabs her by the dress, rips her dress, and she begs for her life, and he kills him. But the dress is supposed to fall off, of course. Being a Roger Corman film, you have to have boobs on page three. And there was so much blood that the dress wouldn't fall off. And I said, we don't have to have boobs, you know? I'm not gonna rip her dress off just to show. Anyway, two days later, I'm hauled into the production office and Mary Ann's there and she presses play on the machine and she shows me this scene and she's horrified. And she says, you mean to tell me we paid 80 pounds for this actress to come all the way from Dublin and we don't even get to see her tits? <laughs> she was livid. 
I thought I was gonna be fired for non non display of breasts. <laughs> Star Portal, space jacked, moving target, knocking on death's door. The game of death. A shadow on the screen. A stray bullet. Dangerous curves. Running with gach kinnels, going on. Running with going on. Ufos, science fiction. Gra, Maru, Spiedodacht, an IRA. We call it Gene and Seal. Instance going on yet again. I guess we're going to the Gra Kester team. Can't fog or should they do this going on? But we in script Chodona. I guess Chalafa. Nach Gretz I'm going to have to I've been reading more of this book. I mean, did you know that 400 years ago people had sex with demons right on the spot? Oh, please. I'm serious. Now, this Walter Van Buren guy headed a cult that supposedly engaged in carnal knowledge with Satan. It's right there. The other good foil, on a good gunshot wounds, on a good glue stone ripped to my heel. We pure gun can ace so arm go harm. I guess just ash door of the rift to crater. Last off. The surviving passengers must deal with a psychotic kidnapper. Is the transmitter damaged? No. Let's send the code three now. I said no. In an outer space voyage that's been space jacked. Could not begin to tell you. <laughs> I have no idea what I have space jacked. I just know that you just didn't want to hit the walls. It was something. I think we were. They were all on a. Starship. It was hijacked for some reason. I think. I guess. Yeah. Some aliens came and hijacked a spaceship. Sounds about right. <laughs> House of the Dam was a story about an American family whom uh, the wife, Maura South, played by myself, inherits this inc amazing ma old mansion in uh, in Ireland from her dead aunt. But uh oh, something's going on in the house. It's haunted. It's basically a lot of it's stolen from poltergeist, which is very Corman to take other ideas and put them in a melting pot and stir them around. If they were successful, then well, they'll make them successful, but just on a lower budget. Oh, and in the end, I also get possessed by the demon and try and kill my daughter and my husband. Totally normal day in Ireland. <laughs> Leave me alone. Mommy. He's gone on either of the under camera. It's quite long gone, Mom. I draw her whole bank account, brand new, and the credits are tacked on us. Our scan on, I guess the duration's gone on. Do she? She's a little go, 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 go wrong. It's not going to be even. She's only saying what animal in the Ted's in the titles. I guess animal cook at her. I guess my at her. I guess Gloria Daniela or Anna got her. So, I mean, new stuff got highbrow of yon. They kidnapped his girlfriend. He wants justice. He'll settle for revenge. Uh, I got buy some Beamish, and in it has been hidden some little detonators. So I, you know, the detonators for some nuclear. You know, first of all, the detonator to a nuclear bomb cannot be some kind of a. Well, anyway. He wants his girlfriend back, but the ransom isn't payable in cash. Beer contains nuclear detonators. I ask you again. Where is the Beamish? I drank it. Well, you know, screenwriters don't do a lot of research sometimes, I, I think. Now you listen to me, Barnes. You're not going to get a thing from me until I've spoken to Vincent. Monica, you got spunk. I hate spunk. <laughs> what did I think of the script without? Yeah, I mean, have you seen it? It is what it is. <laughs> um, Monica Miles. I mean, there were some scenes actually with Monica Miles that I asked the director if we could change them. And in fairness, they did. They, they jigged them around a bit. You know, there was more nudity required than I actually ended up doing. And Monica's fantasy is that like this caveman pulls her up onto the rocks and has his way with her. <laughs> it's outrageous. But anyway, I was so cold. Wardrobe had given me these sheepskin slippers to put on my feet to protect them from the cold. <laughs> they actually made the final cut. Like when you watch the movie, you see the slippers are still on my feet, which was just like, oh, God. While we were there, I made 
somewhere around 20 pictures. I think I was the biggest producer in Ireland at that time. And we had some pictures with an Irish theme. How do I know you're telling me the truth? Well, didn't I tell you? Leprechauns can't lie. But I wasn't doing that specifically. They were international themes. Some of them uh, were supposedly taking place in the United States. We went to Kuna and Galifa. So we went to Shaswinchin and Lehadi Moy Cullen and Smarshinta. A lick and turn grew with a main. Now near Hashtal ain't the near group with the main. We have Hana near Kluta Lai Dog and can, you know, Kuna's a Vranic main cussilla. Oh, clock him or less. Okay, lick him with her and cool him with a main. You got a minute to see my vacation snaps? No. All right. It's New Hampshire, wasn't it? Maine. Gminic New Orleans was in with Mar Hamp, the Fekin the Kutskin the Skana, and I got Sagan John's Dragon of Stacha Shuppa, because Sasha Kanak, Bater Budel Coke, Osplin Shayan, Kushner, because Don Milkatosh, Jehan, like a Scalchy Cheese, because really Marshin. So we can lower off the Gras stuff or a Hogway like a Shi, S. Nuskana. We bought American cars, for example, so that was a, a, one way of trying to re recreate it. We, we only had a certain amount of money. What we did with, with the cars was um, we, we would paint them one colour on one side and another colour on the other side. So they would go by camera one way and then turn around and come back the other way. Name of the firm. Black and white cop care on Majinov, Agus Trunona, Giri, well Tom Yellow Cap at Hastel, so Giri Shears and Gorosh did Agus. Oh, Jesus Christ, I on the So one of the biggest difficulties was finding people who could do an American accent. Our uh, line starts over there. Yeah, don't be so rude. This is an emergency. I, I... They're all emergencies now. Get back in line. Did you see a woman go past? Sweet Janet, you mean? Ain't she a doll? I'm in love with her. <laughs> Look, I know this is all mistake and all, but why don't you and your men just hang back and enjoy the town a little? We can really handle this ourselves. Fuck me, those are really fags. We had, um, basically, I said, well, you know, what cars have you got? What can we get? And we've got some um, rovers, you know, some Land Rovers. And uh, I said, great. Um, which one do you like? I said, oh, well, I like the Land Rover for them to be in. And they went, oh, OK. We get there that morning, and they tell me that um, the rover has no engine in it. But they have a tow car and some quarter-inch cable that you probably never see. <laughs> so that was a little shocker. And, um, but you know what? It ended up looking great. It taught me a huge lesson about fooling anybody with a camera. They were hook up Roger and said, we are in Ligon's are in Nakhrawa and crew and said, because my can say in the fuck shafts of the and I guess not going to go over it. We are in the fuck shafts of the shin. So in or we Roger at that, hook up got in a while. It's just in the car and I guess kind of here going to scone see us in the crown. I'm not going to Roger a because my can say in the hints not going to go over. You have a share of it. In production accounts for you, there has to tell the extras and being in a directory camp for the extras and that's that. Roger Carmen and Shulheim, what about those guys there at the chef? So, you know, I've been to the house for two jobs, and she so we have to go on the show and then go home, go home. It's just a makeup department, you can make up for the wardrobe, because if it's the FBI agents, I guess if it's the taxi drivers, I guess the security car drivers, I guess, brother. Hi, kitty, 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 kitty. Inside David Carradine's antique shop, there was a stuffed cat. Somebody oh, uh, located a cat, and I sent the props guy off to get the cat. And this cat turned out to be, it wasn't a stuffed cat at all. It was a frozen cat. It was a, just a regular side of the road dead cat that some guy had stuck in his wow. freezer. And by the time the props guy got back to Galway, he was starting to thaw and he showed me this cat that was kind of sagging already. He said, quick, get in the freezer. We stuck it in the crew freezer. <laughs> God almighty. 
Sintan Dora de Gest, the Scalan Yacht. A Muninchela Tunskal and Tunskale, no on a Muninchela Schnahalian, the Gritten. I didn't realize you were going to be so beautiful. I can imagine you naked. You're going to be tough with him, Alice. No pain, no gain. Bobby Squiltown in St. Clee, our Arch Dina, our studio Corman. Tashe Bonaha, our Shin, our Squilchin, either on Scalan Yacht, Marhunskal. Agus Prud le Harriga de Yenov, nu mar Ali and Marud a hugan desh doin leagus a gaid aring fenig mar gaidinigus mar eirnig mar yorpig. I remember there was a minor controversy. We were asked to put a picture in the Galway Festival, and I chose a film. And Marianne, who was over there, said the film you chose was directed by an American. We should put a film in directed by an Irishman. And she chose the film, and she wasn't really thinking, and it was probably the most violent film we had ever made in Ireland. It's such an over-the-top reaction to that film because there were a couple of sex scenes in it, you know? We were accused of everything under the sun. Whoever, you know, I was misogynist, I was homophobic, I was a pornographer. Like me on pop or more, the was kind of my headline, er cool, uh, state body subsidizes porn in Connemara. It's been there hit me on Kai here. present to the tax-paying Irish public a Irish-helmed film produced out in Tully. The director was Jeremiah uh, Cullinan. The film was Criminal Affairs. It was a kind of a poor script. It was about a convict who kidnaps this couple. It was a nasty misogynist streak to it. Um, and I kind of had my suspicions right away when this was going to premiere at the film flat, there was going to be issues. There was a cast and crew screening which included one or two dodgy scenes that were even dodgier than people ended up seeing. And these offending scenes, they were subsequently and promptly excised by me personally with a scissors in the projection room of the Galway Omniplex um, by eyeball without any anything else, just holding the film up to the light and then cutting out the scenes, splice the film back together. And that was the version that we showed in the Galway Film Flaw, which was still enough to cause such a sensation. We crowd more on Hunan Scon on Echol. I got some knee bather and no scone on a Vioch egg and fla a via guest and show. I mean, Tony Scon on show cannot be movies, Tushit or Faishok, Tushit, you know, cannot silly really. So we on a hood cons boat on a hood core and on team put guy if we cared, I will not post his show at Santa Fum where it's in a studio show, Nadini Oga show. You gotta admit, this is a pretty fucking funny situation. Right? Nobody really thought that much about it until I think maybe a fortnight later, the Sunday Times did this Irish agency funds porn movies in the west of Ireland article, and that's what kicked the whole thing off. I'm Kate for the Hulam Mishafui. No, imagine the Donny who may mach con and pop here, I guess, Honey Mayawalia, con breakfast day here, I guess, lag me on pop here or more, I guess, Honey May headline, er cool. Uh, state uh, body subsidizes porn in Connemara. It's been there hit me on Kai here. Does your granny or brand new shear? Your eyes are all granny or again. By Monday morning, there was 20 journalists ringing me, and I was gone. Good God, like, what's this about? And then the legal opinion came that we said, hang on, if you print anything about us that's derogatory, we'll sue you. And then that suddenly the 20 journalists ended up with about two or three. 
I think it was a media creation, however. You know, you know, you put that movie up against anything that was being produced at the time and there was nothing particularly offensive about it. This is what Cormen always did. Everybody knew this is what Cormen had said he was going to be doing in the west of Ireland. Um, so it was a sort of a storm in a teacup, really. An Irish movie is two guys walking down the beach talking about, you know, the meaning in life and how depressing things are and how bad things are or whatever. Like a Cormen movie is, it's, it's a car chase along the beach. You know, the car tumbles over and there's gunfire and there's, you know, it's... It's entertainment. You know, why are you, why are you making this? Well, somebody wants to watch it. If you don't like it, don't watch it, you know? Go watch the movie about two guys walking down the beach. I felt I was being treated a little bit unfairly, and I also felt that the critics were from Dublin who uh, uh, knocked that particular film, and I thought maybe there was a little bit of uh, hit the guys on the west of Ireland because the establishment is in Dublin. If you five warless and gale of Yagan, Loch Blockley, Tishko, Mudhok, Noga, and Gale of Nirvain, Amagan, Vasusim Lochley, and Kennel Tuspondo, and Kennel Obervier, Shulagan, Axviamur, a Gobrico Crua, Axic Falamudino Verico, so if you wouldn't have rolled in Hain Wright, the Mudnik Falamund professional show Hollywood is commonly. Because <laughs> so so can I have got a winter in the hair and a tacky of the show. Who are you? Brian Blue. Kimberly Rowe. And David Carradine. Terrifying. People just felt that Roger was a particular type of filmmaker that didn't represent them. That's it. It's as, it's as simple as that. Roger was doing his thing. That's not our thing. Ultimately, the, the schism, if we can call it that, between the Dublin slash Ardmore community and what was going on in Tully was far more to do with a, a union issue. You're all in your marble with Hart coming, he's the corman. Dunya Gober and the Scandal Nagas can crew a gazi chinilug, need five more dopes in a. At the ground, five big and Hart coming in Loklia, Marna Ral Nadini in the ball, you rush the fall Natali. I guess we was a nummy of Lenadini who was in Loklia, I guess we was in Sira. So I know in North Adiniki to our sherry, she's honey Sira the chain. Been fatty, Sira could suck the shaft, so she didn't know. When I moved to Dublin and started working in the union up there on a lot of features, and in the, in the beginning I found it very hard to even find work because I was almost tarnished in the beginning. Oh, you worked with Corman. And it was like they wanted nothing to do with me because, you know, we were the renegades that had worked with Corman. People who had started in there thinking, I'm going to get excellent training, uh, I'm going to stick it for maybe one, two movies, and then I'm going to pull out and I'm going to go down to SIP2, get my card and start working on all the other stuff that's happening. They were going down and finding SIP2 weren't prepared to recognise the training that they were getting out in uh, the Tully studio and people wouldn't sign their cards for them. I think the unions did a dreadful job. The statement they had put out was like, one week these people are fishermen and the next week they're filmmakers. And I think if you're going to attract anybody into your organisation you want, the last thing you do is before you even meet them is run them down. Nach weet we dollar eilish is gonna nicht solar rate to egg it. August has to go on rate to shin oil. Han a lady hori, August and crew, see she's the hill, because a hachter rate to egg it. Mar 
V. Bruni on Eskonon Ori. On one occasion, we had to approach Roger and say, Roger, the crew are looking for a wage increase, you know? And Roger goes, OK. And I was shocked. And he's going, OK, well, increase the wages by uh, 10% and uh, cut the crew by 10%. That's the way Roger would solve a problem. I don't think anybody thinks that they're going to get rich working for Roger Corman. I have to admit, Roger did pay me pretty good. so. <laughs> So former Pa Erzerdin and Dar Shachtin. So we to try to offer the law really good point to show. We may try to offer she law now in Shachtin. Hussim er Shachtin chlog er Martin. Chrich the merik Shachtin chlog su Tranona. August in my head Pa be she Shachtu she punt. Vian, more vain, more trash, con egg and dollar eek, comma. So it's queen of the shas when she clued a butcher. Let's in check show the shock to shape pot or all I'm hain. Like you're fond of the show. Start my ten, yeah, fond of me. I think it has a lifespan. I think you can only do Corman for so long because, you know, it's so intense and you can only work at that intensity for so long or it will, you will just give out. No, you face that kunya la gober and bonushin agus dimidini um guminic agus la bedigo kawara she's gone on a one who else gone on. Vi mu didi na skona na fihi in law. So mo lack and to le school and gonna skona kate fihi no med no kate sri no med. Vi mu didi na she no med khola law. Agus shin she no med skona kirni. There are limitations to to what you can do there. Um, I think a director with uh, ambitions can only go so far in Roger Corman. He says it himself, it's a revolving door kind of thing. You know, people come in, people go out. Did it fall away as so much as trickle away? My gut feeling is that it trickled away. You know, people still work there. The press weren't that interested anymore. Uh, the buzz was gone. You know, Corman did not come here and reinvent the Irish film industry the way he's credited with reinventing the American industry. People began to realise this was just a, you know, a small studio that was producing beamy movie material. So I suppose the novelty wore off. It ended for several reasons. The uh, restrictions against American pictures by the European Union, which caused me to work in Ireland uh, originally, were eased. So that incentive went away. Secondarily, when I started, the wage scale in Ireland was quite low. But during that five-year period, Ireland began to become fairly rich. The economy was doing very well. The wages were going up. So my economic savings between that and the United States started to go away. But most importantly, independent films got less and less theatrical distribution. And the need for that many films faded, so I had less reason to make so many films. So all of those things came together. Maybe I'll be seeing you again soon. Gotta go now. Whenever like, a producer comes to me and says, this is your budget, and they're like, you know, it's a really tight budget, and I'm like, you have no idea. You know, it's like you really don't. I can totally make this work, you know. But I don't tell them that. But it's like, you know, because I, I worked for Corman. On Rudas Tovakti, we am a chahav le Roger Corman in studios, no government to and made shin. August Hamas a gacht and a satunskal skon on each their over, a horror over Roger. It was like I went to college for three, four years. I learned more in one Roger Corman movie than the four years in, those, in, in college.
the Roger was going to sell it to um, a storage company, and it was found, look, let's try and keep it in the industry. So a number of producers and Udo's support came together and, and bought it off him. I'm really happy to know that although I left, the studio I built is still working, is still making films, so it's still functioning, and the legacy, as it were, goes on. And I was very pleased to find out that so many of the guys and women who started with us went on to have very good and some major careers in the Irish industry, just as here, a number of the people who started with us uh, moved up. It was called sometimes the Corman Film School, and it was sometimes the Irish branch of the Corman Film School.